Hello, good afternoon everyone. Today I'm here to inform you all about the Ohio train derailment that occurred on February 3rd of 2023 in East Palestine, Ohio. This caused many hazardous chemicals to be exposed to the soil, groundwater, and atmosphere. Today we'll be going over what initially happened, the chemicals that were exposed, and what this means for humans as well as for the environment. First, I'd like to tell you guys what exactly happened. So a train traveling from Madison, Illinois to Conway, Pennsylvania derailed at the speed of 50 miles per hour. This Norfolk Southern train was carrying more than 150 train cars that was carrying cargo that was toxic and non-toxic. Out of that 150, 20 of those cars was carrying hazardous materials and out of that 20, 11 of those cars derailed. But before the derailment even occurred, security footage picked up that one of the train cars was emitting small flames and sparks in Salem, Ohio, which is only 20 miles away from where the derailment actually occurred. This sparked a massive fire that wasn't fully extinguished until February 8th of 2023. The fire was very hard to control considering that there are very hazardous chemicals being burned. However, according to Axos, there was a mechanical issue with one of the train's axles, which is believed to be the cause of the derailment. But since this event just occurred recently, we still don't, we still don't know the cause of the derailment, but it is up to the National Transportation Safety Board to make that determination. Next, let's talk about what chemicals were exactly exposed. And you might be wondering what these are. So there were four hazardous chemicals that were being exposed. They were vinyl chloride, butyl acrylate, isobutylene, and ethylene glycol. All of these chemicals have their own properties and their own significance. But there is one chemical that many investigators and scientists are worried about, and that is the chemical vinyl chloride. Vinyl chloride is known as a carcinogen, which is known to cause cancer in living tissue. It is also known as a flammable and colorless gas that is used to produce PVC products. PVC products or polyvinyl chloride is used for packaging materials, electronics, and medical products. Symptoms of exposure include drowsiness, disorientation, and nausea. It can also irritate one's eyes and skin. This caused many of the residents in East Palestine, Ohio to be exposed to all of these chemicals. However, many of the residents say that they will not return. Then I would like to introduce to you all what exactly this means for humans as well as for the environment. According to the EPA, they say that around 1,000 to 2,000 residents are able to return to their homes. But many residents are skeptical and do not believe that it is safe to return. They believe that the atmosphere and water levels are safe to consume. They believe that safety is their number one priority with dealing with this uh, catastrophic event. But like I said before, residents are very skeptical because they believe that they've been exposed to these chemical toxins and no, no official will give them a clear one. However, on February 20th of 2023, on February 20th of 2023, Northfolk Southern Train Company, which is the train company that caused this derailment, made a press release that said that they removed 15,000 pounds of soil and 1.1 million gallons of water from the area due to contamination. Because of this contamination, many fish and animals have died. And it has been confirmed that 3,500 fish have been dead due to con contaminated waterways. It has also been confirmed that the Ohio River, the Ohio River has been contaminated and it has and it covers 14 states and provides drinking water to 5 million people. Now, this is, a big, this is a big issue because many people are becoming exposed to a lot of these chemicals and it's something that we should be seriously concerned about. Residents like, residents who live in East Palestine, Ohio, have came forward and say that they've experienced rashes, headaches, sore throats, as well as nausea. This allowed one of resident named Amanda Greathouse to make a press statement saying, quote, when we went back on the 10th of February, that's when we decided that we couldn't raise our kids here, Amanda Greathouse said. There was a terrible lingering smell that reminded me of hair permanent solution. Now, this isn't the only residence that, that has been experiencing something like this. Tons of residents have came forward in press releases and have said that they've experienced the same exact symptoms that Amanda and her kids have experienced which is a huge issue because thousands and thousands of the population of East Palestine have been exposed to it. 
The Ohio train derailment is one of the biggest envi environmental disasters in U.S. history because of its massive fire that, have, that has contaminated soil, groundwater, and the atmosphere, and it is something that, that many Americans should be worried about. So to end with that, you guys learned about the Ohio train derailment, as well as learning about the chemicals that were exposed and what this means for humans as well as the environment. This event has caused a stir of commotion that has allowed the has allowed the United States uh, citizens to be concerned about this event. This has caused a stir of commotion on how well we trust our government with transporting pollutants across the country, as well as holding them accountable for this environmental disaster. Thank you.